How far have you gone for beauty? What you mean, how far? Have people questioned your body? Of course, man, they talk about my body all the time. They call me bad body. Some people think I got my body done. I don't give a fuck what these people think. The far as I go, I seek beauty on the inside, bitch. Whenever I feel like I'm gonna get my body done, that's when I'm gonna get my shit done. No bitch on this earth. They gonna tell me when to get it done. Cause see, people is just prone to all this BBL shit and it's no tea, no shade. I love bitches with a nice body. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna let society push me into getting it. If I don't want it to make me feel beautiful, I feel like I am beautiful just as I am. Simple. Now, for, for clarification, have you ever had any yes, cosmetic procedures? Breasts. A breast augmentation. Mm -hmm. Is that something we could talk about? Of course. Okay. Now, what was your reason for a breast augmentation? I just had the money and wanted to do it. <laughs> I just had the money and wanted to do it. I wanted to, like, you know, add, you know, people, get people to talk, talk, give people something to talk about because they always talking. So, you know, you got to keep them talking. Care to share what age you were back then when you received this procedure? See, I was about, we gonna skip that. <laughs> okay, okay. Care to, care to say at least if you were over 21, under 21 at the time? Under 20. No, I was under 25. I'm gonna just say that. Okay, under 25. <laughs> and for time reference, it's November 2021 now. Now, do you have any children at this point? No. Was that a factor at all into the equation of a, having a breast augmentation? What happened? Was that a factor? Uh, I mean, you didn't have any kids at the time, but was mm -hmm. that something you say, uh, I might wait till I have kids first or no, you didn't, I didn't care? No, I didn't care. Okay. Which type of implant did you receive? The silicone gummies. And why go with that type there? Because I didn't want the saline because, you know... I wanted to go to the safest route because when the saline, if it pop, you it's dripping into you. The gummies, they just like pretty much gummy. Like sh the doctor gave me like an example, cut up the gummy and it's just like steel gel. It's not leaking, you know. Uh, when you actually choose this type of implant, mm -hmm. that was your own personal choice or doctor recommendation? No, I did my research. I did um, the best. I wanted the best work. You know, I didn't care for saline. Happy with that decision there? Yes, I am. And I did a natural look. When you say natural, does that mean under or over the muscle? I went, I, I'm not going to lie. I requested for under the muscle, and I'm not sure if these people did uh, under my muscles, but when I found that, find out if they didn't, it's going to be a lawsuit here because they went through my areolas. So, you know, I don't think it's under the muscle. I think this implant is sent in above, and I pay for under the muscle, so I'm going to need my coin. Yeah. Now, for you, that's what you wanted. Why did you want to go that route, under the muscle? Because, like, you know, you never know how society, how God got you. Like, boom, there go a kid. I want to be able to breastfeed. <laughs> you never know. So that's why I really did choose that procedure, the under the muscle. Now, can you explain the process from start to finish? Um, you know, like, went to my breast augmentation tip drill. Miami Tip, she actually down here. I was asking her about a good doctor that's down in Miami. So, um, she recommended, I ain't gonna say the name. She recommended this certain, you know, clinic, whatever, surgeon, whatever. So I went there and I really did like the customer service, they was they act like they give a fuck, you know? So that's why, you know, I done lost myself. What were we talking about again? Oh, I had asked you how, how did, what was the process like from start to finish? Oh, it was amazing, I ain't gonna lie. From start to finish, I was very, very excited, but once I got inside of like the surgery day, I was super duper nervous because I never did surgery before. And like, you know, you hear all these stories, you hear about people having to get them removed because they done got sick off of them. And I'm like, you know, is this my fate? Like, so the doctor, he was very, very kind to me. And he just was like, you know, you're gonna be pretty, you're gonna be good. Like, you know, he was very warming to me. So, you know, next thing you know, they told me to look right. I look right, I woke up with titties on my chest. 
Now, <laughs> you get put to sleep for this procedure. What was that like? Somebody watching this has never been put to sleep before, but wondering, what is that like? You don't feel, it's, you, it's dark. It's like, you don't even know that you sleep until you wake up. Like, you hear people calling your name. They like, Phil Travia, Phil Travia. <laughs> Now, was this process, procedure, whatever, was it painful at all? Not for me. And that's why, because I hear a lot of girls, a lot of my friends, a lot of my associates, they got breast augmentation, and they be in the worst pain. And I was like, I couldn't even do the Percocets because I don't fuck with That shit made me itchy. I, uh, I had to, no. I didn't take no medication, nothing. It was not painful for me. I was up. Even without any medication? Without no medication. Not even like Only a... Only a sting from a scar. Like if you get cut, you know that sting and sensation? That's what you feel. That's at least what I felt. When they put you to sleep uh, for the procedure, how did they do it? Um, was it a it shot, just... like an IV? Yeah. Or was it gas? IV. Or... IV, no gas. It was, you know, tied me up from here, here, and that's thing, you know, I was out. When Out they like a light switch. When they actually put the uh, medicine, I don't know if it's anesthesia or what they it's use. It's anesthesia. Okay, when they put that in, does that hurt at all? What, just the uh, needles going to the skin? Nobody like needles. I don't like fucking needles, but that's how I'm going to get my anesthesia. So um, it'd be a pinch. You know, nothing you can take. You could take it. You could take a IV, you know. Okay. So it was just the pinch from the needle, that was yeah, it? Yeah, that's just like a butterfly, like a little butterfly needle that they use you to test you, like. I didn't know if there was any pain when they actually put the medicine in you to push no, you No, no pain. Any side effects or complications since, aside from the maybe over the muscle, under the muscle situation you mentioned already? Only side effects that I had was gaining this motherfucking weight. It's like the more I gain, these titties grow. That's it, but no medical complications, none of that. What size are you now with the implant? Oh my God, I'm like I'm like a triple D now. <laughs> it is. I went to Victoria's Secret and they're like, "You a triple?" I said, "Bitch, that ain't right. Y'all ain't calculating me right." That is not. I got a full C cup. I was a thirty-two B. They talking about triple D. All you wanted was a full C. Full C cup, thirty-five, three seventy-five CC. Now, how'd you go about choosing the size? The doctor actually told me because I have broad shoulders because, you know, he was like, it's going to fit your back. And now, you know, him saying, get the 375, I see what he was talking about. If I would have went larger than this, I would have been mad. I would have been going back. Were you happy with the final size that was chosen? Yes, I was. Sure was. What about the fact that they're now, according to Victoria's Secret, I like them. I'm glad I didn't get 400s. You know, I, he knew what he was talking about, so I trusted him. Do you wish you went up, do you wish you, because they're, yeah, according to, again, according to Victoria's Secret Triple D, mm -hmm. do you wish you would have went a little bit smaller than the 375? No. Okay. They decide that I like them, they look juicy. When I wear my little two pieces, like they just be like, hey, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> now, we're wrapping up here with the breast augmentation <laughs> questions, but how long have you had this done for? Two years. Okay. Probably going on, it's two and a half years, I can say that. Okay. I know you didn't state what age you were at the time, but whatever age that was, you had it in your life, did you get it at the right age? Do you wish? Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Do you, okay. I mean, if you had the opportunity and the money, would you have done it earlier in your life? No. Okay. At the time, I just believe in timing. Did you document this on social media at all? Nah, I just popped out on these bitches with titties. Did you archive previous pictures before the breast augmentation? No. So you just, like normal, like nothing popped happened? Popped up to the party. I was at the pool party. Um, Super Cindy threw a pool party. Um, I was hosting. I just popped up and Bobby Lights was like, bitch, wait. Bitch, you got your titties done. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was the bitch. I was like trying to put these hoes out on any occasion, even in winter. Now, what was your first post on social media once you had the breast augmentation? The pool party. It was a video or a picture? It was a picture. Okay. 
Now, was the picture like showing the boobs in they someone's was. face? Okay. No, them bitches was poking. Oh, okay. And you had no choice but to see them. They were swole. You know that new breast look? Them hoes were swole. How long after the surgery do you pop out with that picture? Um, It was a week and a half. A week and a half. It was not two weeks. I know that. It was under two weeks. What was the reaction on social media to the post? Everybody congratulate me. <laughs> it was like, I like them. I love them. I was like, thank you. <laughs> Any negative feedback? Negative reaction? Probably so. I just don't remember it. <laughs> More positive than negative? Yeah. Um, what's the public reaction you receive from strangers? to your breast augmentation? I mean, it's, when I have my boobs out, and, you know, they automatically go there because they, like, really juicy. They look pretty. they really pretty. Do you like that feeling? Do yeah. you like when people are zoning in on them? Um, no. I, I, I like the feeling of, because I like them. But if you staring too hard, I'm going to say something. Like, I'm not that person you can just pretty much stare. I'm going to ask you, hello, how can I help you? Has, type of person. Has that actually happened in a real life? A lot of times. A lot of times. Men, women? Both. I just don't like for people to really just stare at me. If you're going to compliment, compliment a person. You know, if you like me, I'm a very complimentary person. I'm going to be like, oh, you look pretty. That is, I'm not going to just stare. People just stare. And I'd be like, bro. Have people I'm ever. Boss, bitch. Have people ever just come up and not even just say you're pretty? Just say, I love your boobs or your breath. Like, uh, yeah, I had it before. they like, your titties look really pretty. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. Ever been a situation where you were embarrassed with the breast augmentation? No, I don't think. Don't speak that on me. <laughs> only time, I ain't gonna lie, only time like if I lay down and I got like a little dude and he be trying to lay on my breast and then when you lay down, you feel like the, it get, it get hard. And I be like, bro, you just gotta back up. Don't pop these. Do you feel like you've received more opportunities or have had been more successful in your career since the breast augmentation two years ago? Hmm. I don't think my breast got anything to do with my success because I work hard and I, you know, I always find ways to elevate, always finding like, you know, relationships to have and stuff like that. I think people really more so respect me because of my hustle and not me not giving up. And my beauty. I, I do look pretty. You definitely have to be stepping on these scenes, but I don't think my, I can't say my breasts got me more opportunities. I don't know. What did this entire experience teach you? What did you learn from this cosmetic procedure? Shit. Everything considered. Do what you love. Fuck these people. Fuck these people. You want to get cosmetic surgery? Don't care about nobody. Think about you. It's your body, your choice. Anything with anything in life. So just not giving a fuck. If you could turn back the hands of time, would you have done anything different with your breasts um, or breast augmentation? Hmm. I think I probably would have asked. I would have never asked for the natural. I would have asked more so of the HD because the natural fell to like my natural breasts. And then it's like I know that I'm going to have to go back again because now that they huge, they, you know, they sit in, but I'm going to have to go back. I just know it. What's HD for someone watching? Like, there? just something, like, just more high definition. Like, you know, sit up on the chest a little bit more than what it is. Because I got my natural titties was always just perky. So they just really perky. Big perky titties. Do you think if they were eight? Okay, let me ask you this. Well, I think you kind of answered that. I mean, I don't know if I'm being redundant here. But if they, if you do get the HD look, would they... Off rip look fake. Um, is that? Some, I think for some people, yeah, like a cups. When you have, people have a cups, it definitely look like okay. They still see mine's jiggle. Mine's like when you grab them standing up, they soft. Like they look super duper natural. But I would at least you know, told them to go, stuff me a little bit more up towards this area. Okay, because I've heard different responses from different women. Mm -hmm. There's some people that want a natural look because they want a person to guess. Is it real? Is it fake? If somebody has to guess, then they know it's a good job, so to speak. Right. But yeah, then, and a lot of when I tell people that I have my breast on, they always tell me it look really natural. It don't look, you know, so. And I then I've that. heard some females say, I want the fake breast look. Mm-hmm. 
they want the porn star look yeah. or the Barbie doll or whatever it's called. They want that look. Yeah, because in certain things, that shit just sit right. And tube tops, you want your shit sitting up, sitting pretty. So I understand both. And you would prefer... A little, I wouldn't do like the super Barbie doll HD, like, but I would do somewhat, you know, in the middle, in between. Do you miss your natural breasts at all? Um, I don't think I, no. No, I don't miss them. What do you wish you knew before you got a boob job, if anything? Um, I don't, just like, like I just explained, like the HD, just knowing, like, you know, what is what. Because I, when I went into getting my breasts done, I just said I didn't want to look super fake. That's it. But, like, you know, I, this is my first boob job. So I'm like, okay, just make me natural. And he did just that. I would have requested for a little HD, just a little. Now, circumstances could be different for everybody, but generally speaking, any tips, any tricks, any advice for someone that has a breast augmentation? Do your research on your doctor. Do research, don't care about what people, the negative shit people have to say, take heed, but don't let that consume you. Um, I would say just pretty, like, do your research on your doctor. Look at their work, look at them reviews, all that. Anything else you want to mention about a breast augmentation or question I didn't ask, people want to know about one. I don't. I feel like we covered all grounds. <laughs> Have you mentioned the boobs in your music? Yeah, all the time. Yep, sure do. Punchline, lyrics on various songs. Yeah. I always talk about my titties. Titties sitting, spin the bag on my titties. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. My last question with all this. Because you had this done, are you addicted to cosmetic procedures at all? No, because that's the only procedure that I got. You know, just boobs. <laughs> if I was addicted, I'd be on it. I more so be trying to flip my money. Well, I do flip my money and make it come back to me. I just, like, always focus on, like, um... I focus on just always self-love because, like, I'm not going to lie, I didn't always have this confidence. When I first got into the music industry, a lot of, I, hear, I heard a lot of things that affected me. But it's like, at the time, I couldn't change it. So I had to really get in the mirror and accept me for who I am as a person because I'm not going to change it based on nobody else's opinion.